Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Ellen. So sometimes you have like lofty ideas when you paint something and it doesn't always come out the way you want it to. <laughs> and it's fine because you know what? You're playing, you're having fun and that's what it's all about. You know, that's why I tell you sketchbooks are for that kind of situation. So this is a tutorial but also a kind of like parlay into seeing how I've created something that I look back and I go, oh, I don't even like this, but it was fun to do. Um, this is one, this little fun mushroom kind of crazy, you know, little design. And I uh, give you ideas how you can create some kind of cool backgrounds and then paint on top of that. So it is what it is. It might not be my favorite piece of art, but it was fun to paint it. So this is what you should think about when you're having a sketchbook. It's all about experimenting and having fun. It doesn't have to look like it's going to be put up on the wall. It's supposed to be about learning and growing as an artist. And um, yeah, so I might not love it, but I think it's kind of funny and playful. And you know, you can watch it unfold here on um, YouTube and see what you think. And try something similar, like the te technique that I used in the beginning, and then paint something on top of it. So come check it out and see what I think is kind of crazy. <laughs> All right, enjoy. Okay, so for this video, let's we'll just go over some supplies that I'm having. I'm using this uh, Bohang uh, sketchbook I have. I don't know what size it is, but probably like a seven by 10 or something like that. Um, use whatever sketchbook you have. And we're just gonna take some of the paints from our palette, use like a big wide flat wash brush, it's like a one inch or even whatever you have, like even a, just a big round brush. And we're just basically gonna put some paint in, just gonna squish it all around. I'm gonna use like fall color tones. So we've got yellow here, cadmium red light, burnt umber, oops, it's a lot of brown. <laughs> um, mix a little paint gray with that. You can use some gray and some green. So we're just gonna like, the theme is to like put down some color and then we're gonna go over it with some line work. We're gonna create like a design. So it's like a design, I don't know if you can kind of like do this. I have some friends who do this. Like you just paint the book and then you go out and do something. We're going to all do it once, but I'm just saying you just put a design down of just like color. So I'm just grabbing some yellow, just kind of squishing it around both sides. Maybe grab some orange. So there's no rhyme and reason what, what color or where we're going to put this stuff. My brush is kind of separating. So I'm going to grab a different brush. That happens. Uh, where's my other one that I use that doesn't do that? This one. <laughs> um, grab some browns. Basically fall color tones. This one's doing it too. Oh, I'll be damned. <laughs> and see how I'm just going to... Thickness can be a little thicker so it's not moving as much. And we're not going to use those brushes even though that makes nice little cross hatching there, right? So now I grab my number 16 uh, Neptune series brush. Let's make some orange with the colors, the red and the yellow, obviously. Going across, have some energy. You can add some Prussian blue to my yellow, make some green, some nice bright green over here. I'm just kind of doing this. This particular sketchbook is having some kind of weird resist. Sometimes the pages are okay, sometimes they're not. Maybe yours is better than mine. Going back and adding my uh, paints gray. So don't make it super dark because we're going to paint something on top of it and draw on top of it. Just like a nice pattern with some light colors, yellows and oranges, you know, fall kind of tones. You can play around with adding in reds, oranges, yellows, whatever blues, if you want to do that too. Okay, add some yellow on this side. Um, even play around with taking the paper towel and kind of mushing it around too. See? It's kind of cool, right? Just getting some color across the paper. And I make this a little dark brown again. Don't be afraid to play. You gotta play. That's the whole point. I'm gonna do some blue actually. It's in gray, actually, so eh. maybe more ultramarine blue. Gonna get some more color in here. And we've got the green. See, just sporadically putting color. And again, you can play with your paper towel. You wanna just kind of move this paint around. 
all that good stuff. I'm just going across both sides here. So at this point, I will let it dry. And then we're going to paint something on top of it. Um, we're going to paint some like pumpkins and mushrooms. I don't even know if I'm going to do pumpkins. Maybe just all mushrooms and some leaves. But then we're going to just paint on top of that. Like it's a whole layering effect. It's really kind of fun and cool. If you're stumped with the paint in your sketchbook, try something like this. Like you can just take like this design or not this design, but paint kind of a whole bunch of pages and then you go ahead later on wherever you're gonna be, whatever you're gonna do and paint paint on top of that. So we're gonna wait for this dry and then we'll do that. So now it's dry while we're doing our painting. But before that, if you are stumped in how to draw a mushroom or a pumpkin, let me just show you real quick. Mushroom, think of like upside down frown you know <laughs> and then you swoop in with a little smile curve it curve it swoop in curve it and then you get your little mushroom and you could do variations on that right and then of course a pumpkin pumpkins could be circular and they have little lines and your stem and then the leaves you know there's all kinds of fall leaves the mighty oak it's kind of a wiggle and then um, like a maple leaf I just go like up in a point over here, it's like a finger kind of situation. Put the leaf down like that. And acorns, it's again, like a half moon cap, boom. Little butt, crisscross hatching. These all have little things. And mushrooms can be all different shapes and sizes. Yep, slow that down. You can slow the videos down, by the way, to see the drawing. So once we have that, Go back on our sketchbook. I would take a pencil to do this. We're going to play with layering, glazing. Oh, this is still a little bit wet, but um, draw in like where you're going to put your mushrooms. I put a few mushrooms, tall ones, little ones, skinny ones. Like a little cluster of mushrooms here. Put some little grass. And I'll keep putting little mushrooms here. And maybe I'll put a leaf kind of going through both of these, like we just showed you. Yeah, kind of like a you know the maple leaf um I can do like another leaf kind of happening here let's go back over here on this side some mushrooms I didn't put a pumpkin you could put a pumpkin I think I'm gonna just keep mushrooms just giving you ideas mushrooms pumpkins you know all kinds of crazy stuff more leaves put another mushroom hanging here and I put on a leaf and do a bunch of mushrooms. I think I'm just going to do mushrooms. I mean, if you want to put a pumpkin in there to that, do that. It's up to you. You know, I won't hold it to you. Maybe I'll do a little acorn here. Um, and the leaf. Maple leaf kind of situation. Okay, so you draw it in with the pencil. And then, you know, I'll take like a... Maybe I'll take a Princeton 8 long round or Princeton 12 Neptune series. And I'm going to give some more paint over here. I need some cadmium red light. So now we're going to do a little technique where we're just painting on top of where painting and drawing. Uh, we can paint the mushroom. We could use a color pencil. So here I'm just going to go over this area that I already painted and fill in that mushroom. I'm doing like a little red mushroom. You know, or in the brown bottom. I would do that like afterwards, but you could do some brown ones. And don't feel like you have to be inside the pencil lines. Go outside of them. We're going to do some kind of funny off-register stuff too. So, see? Just going to go like that. I'll make some orange color ones. A little more yellow. Really just loose and simple and fast. The leaves can be brown. Get that burnt umber with some paints gray and I'll do like that maple leaf kind of guy here so we have a combination of like just the paint that was just thrown around and now we're painting on top of that that's like another layer right I'm gonna go back in here and do some leaves and I'll be doing some you know mushroom stems really loose this one should be darker on the top you can do some darker mushrooms why not brown ones over here any color you want really 
really loose. I have just a bunch here. I might do another big top one like this. And then I didn't do one that was kind of like a little skinnier. Maybe I can do that. I'll get a little, like this kind of shape that I drew. And put that yellow one here. Some kind of resist is happening on my paper, but that's fine. Now I put the color yellow down here for another leaf kind of happening. You can put like another leaf here. Get some nice green color. Mixing up some green tones. It's my paper is resisting. It doesn't want to paint. See, it's kind of peeling. It's I don't know. It's not being very friendly right now. <laughs> um, go back and grab my colors. Maybe some reds under this. We're just having fun with watercolor, our sketchbook, all that good stuff. So now I'm going to leave some of this right now and let this dry. We're going to be using um, the paintbrush in a different way, kind of off register, or we could use also um, some watercolor pencils or pencils. So I have a set of these Caran d'Ache watercolor pencils. Um, there might be a link in my description box. It should be. If not that one, another um, box that I have. And just grab some colors from there and get grays. So not all of the mushrooms can be like already painted in. You can draw some out I'm using like a black um, pencil. You can draw some leaves the stems here. Uh, maybe grab some like rustic colors from my pencils. Okay, it's like grabbing the stem here, do some leaves. So you have some line work happening here and you have some regular kind of cool mushrooms. Let me just draw like a bigger one here with a little cap and kind of going in here like this. We're gonna have fun with this. It's not all going to be one note kind of situation. We could go in with the um, a charcoal pencil. Interesting, right? It will get a little, it could go on the other side when you fold it, so maybe not a charcoal pencil. But the whole point is just to play around with pencils, whatever. I even have these hydrous watercolors. Um, the sketchbook is where you experiment. Supposed to have a lot of fun with sketchbook. I have these bright colors. Let's let's try and play with these a little bit. Um, see, like I mentioned, the word play. That's what it's all about. I'm removing some of this brown on my palette here. Got some of this bright hydrous watercolor, and grab whatever brush is convenient. Have an eight eight long round. Put this color on some of the stuff. Woo! Yeah, look at that intensity. And then you still see. The color underneath because it's the glazing happening here. Look at that. I could do some little fun funky dots on here. <laughs> Stripes on the brown. Go do another leaf over here that's bright yellow. Like really get some intense color happening. I have um, a vermilion hue here. I mean let's just not be you know let's have a little fun. Mix that with the yellow. What do we got here? Woo, that's intense. I love that. Put that color right here in the stem. Another one here. Whoa, loving that. You can even go into this little leaf back here. I don't know if you see this leaf over here. I'm just doing like an outline with this hydrus. So much fun. Uh, put another leaf like really big here. You know, you're playing here. We're playing. We're playing. <laughs> um, I don't think I have any green hydras, but you can mix it. I have some, what is this color? This is a sepia. These will have more of intensity than the watercolor. Ooh, it's kind of a funky color. I'm gonna use this to make some grass. This is sepia. I go some outline of these lovely leaf. Make another lovely stem here. So things you can play with. Now I can also use my watercolor again. I'm using um, Payne's Gray with this number eight. Really kind of thick 
just a teeny bit of water so I can move it. So it's almost like butter, but it's like a cross between butter and uh, cream. So here I go, like this dark, deep black. And I'm going off register, see? Woo, off register from the mushroom. It just gives a nice funky look. I love playing. This is the whole point. Watercolor is to play. There's those little lines I was talking about earlier. More leaves, we can have some leaves falling everywhere. Fluting here. Branches and more leaves hanging from the branches. A little thicker with the color paint here. I'm gonna have some little leaves off these branches. And I'll put some leaves here, coming off the page. I think I really need some green because I feel like it was so much yellow and orange. So you need to balance things and you'll notice that like you might have like, oh no, the picture's so, so much orange. So the yellow, orange, and red are those hot tones. And we get some cool tones mixed in here with the greens, a little bit of blue. And that will help balance all that heat, right? Like I said, hot tones and cool tones. We've got some green grass kind of wiggling here and over here. Why not put some green grass around our little mushy rooms? Now, some people say, they might say that this is kind of juvenile, but I say it's the fun part of it. You can get even more detail with stuff, um, you know, as you're painting it. I'm going back at this mushroom here. This is what it's all about, patterns and painting and design. And then from there, sometimes you might have a breakthrough. This is like a meditative kind of situation. We're just kind of going around and painting different things uh, and more elements. I can put like another branch down here. Woo! Coming off. Kind of fun, right? Going over around here, kind of coming back here. Just little branches. And then from there, I have like little twigs. You could write words. Have you just watercolored some words? I mean, that's fun. So yeah, it's just, just all about pattern and play. Pattern and play, pattern and play. And you can have the paint thicker and thin as you go along. See, into little stripes this way. <laughs> and then the green. So again, like an off register lines coming off that, that leaf, this one too. What I love is that first initial wash we did, and then you have these things on top of it. And this little guy should have a little stem. Again, off register. I feel like I have to do like kind of like now coordinate them by kind of make them similar. There we go. Together. So we can kind of put this like light color wash of a leaf pattern back here in brown. You don't have to have an off register of everything. You can just have like a little all over the whole page, the simple, simple little brown leaf. And that will create like a cool kind of pattern kind of peeking through in all the areas. See how I'm doing this? And now we have this whole filled in kind of fun pattern, right? Some of it's off, reg off register, some of it's not. Patterns, have fun with that. Um, we can make different colors. Got that red. I can just take the actual paint right out of the tube. See, so on that bright, bright cadmium red and light. Look at that, polka dot city. Stripes, more polka dots. Gotta have fun. Blue would be really good. Ooh, that really kind of shows up, right? Your eye's gonna go right to that blue. We need to counterbalance that somewhere. Let's put that over here. And let's put some down here too. Hmm. We use that as an outline too. Blue. Interesting. I just kind of went there. 
It happens. Again, this is all an experiment. And that's all this is. Just throwing in color and moving color around. You can fill in just like sections of it like I just did there. That's my chair moving back and forth. I'm sorry if it's making so much annoying noise. I just kind of fill it in. You know, this might not appeal to most people, but I find it fun. It's like the Parisian mushroom. <laughs> fill the under part in. And again, you can just have fun with your paintbrush, painting fun lines and leaves and twigs and all that good stuff. You can write words. It's about having fun. So this is my tutorial. My tutorial is basically showing you and telling you how to have fun. Okay, I'm using simple shapes of leaves. Try this technique with the sketchbook. Just wash in color all over the place. Put in an element that you're interested in, like a, could be a mushroom, could be a pumpkin, could be, I don't know, apples, all kinds of stuff. And do something similar like this. Just have fun with it. That's what it's all about. So I hope this was fun. You learned how to get out of your comfort zone. I think the pattern's kind of fun and funky. Maybe you don't like it, but I love it. I mean, you can do pages upon pages. You can make them lighter. There's a lot of bright colors in here. If you like muted colors, try that. Try a combination of muted colors with one or two bright colors or just one color. Um, do maybe just to all, I have everything in the kitchen sink here with the, with the leaves and the mushrooms. You can just make it really simple, like a sweet all over mushroom pattern or all over um, pumpkin pattern or just leaves. All right, guys, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Please have fun and enjoy yourself. Don't stress out about it. <laughs> Take care and I'll speak to you soon.